This is the Nokia 5130 Express Music, just a mainstream, ordinary music oriented handset. There is nothing really innovative about the handset, but it comes with a decent set of functions packed in a likeable small body. And these are its major advantages, namely appealing design and compact size. Despite being an affordable phone, the 5130 doesn't have a cheap feeling to it, because it's made of materials with proper quality. Plus, we do like the color scheme of our unit. Still, keep in mind, the 2-inch display with QVGA resolution gets almost unusable in direct sunlight. As a whole, all buttons are handy, but we would have liked it much better if the volume rocker and audio control player keys were more prominent. We decided to test the Nokia 5130 Express Music and plugged in an 8GB microSD card. We didn't encounter any issues. In spite of the manufacturer's claims, the phone works with expansion cards of up to 2GB capacity. Aside from its look, the other major advantage of the, of the phone is the quality of the audio playback through headphones. Music sounds quite well even through the boxed pair, although it lacks proper bass. The Nokia 5130 Express Music, however, performed pretty much like any iPod Nano 2GB with one of our mainstream headset pairs plugged in. This is quite an accomplishment for an affordable phone. We are pleasantly surprised by the audio player that feels really comfy and its appearance can be easily altered with various themes. Finally, the handset comes with an FM radio with RDS. Another good thing about the Nokia 5130 Express Music is the in-call quality. It is quite higher than the average and our only grip relates to the slightly monotonous sound. The battery performs pretty decently and delivers 6 hours of continuous talk time and 21 hours of uninterrupted audio playback. The phone runs Nokia's Series 40 interface that is easy to get used to. Opera Mini is the default internet browser and this is a good thing for an affordable device because the app loads complex pages and saves traffic. Unfortunately, there are no perfect phones. The most grievous disadvantages of the device are its 2 megapixel camera and loudspeaker. Snapshots are of rather low overall quality, with their colors looking surreal and virtually non-existent details. The loudspeaker is a weak link, and the irritating crackling renders it almost unusable for audio playback. Despite its shortcomings, we wholeheartedly recommend the Nokia 5130 Express Music to anyone who is on the lookout for a decent music oriented handset and happens to be on a tight budget. The phone is superior to its major rivals, the Sony Ericsson W302 and Samsung Beat B, in almost every single aspect.